Okay, so we'll show you how to change the display. So for the CAG or FA, you can display up to 30 different parameters depending whether there's a, they are available from your car ECU because it's all connected through the OBD2 port. So first of all, uh, you can change the display here. So as you can see, there's RPM uh, right, right now in the outer circle. On the inner circle not right now, it's showing the water temperature, uh, the technometer, which is again the same thing as the RPM, uh, intake manifold pressure, that's for turbo boost, uh, car, you can see how much boost you're running, vacuum or boost, uh, water temp and uh, voltage. Okay, let's do something different. We want to see the oil temp as well. Uh, um, and also maybe we can change this to show the boost and then the water temp, we can bring it over here. Okay, so first of all, we press and hold the menu button. So it's under display item setup. Um, item setup, item setup, okay. And uh, right now, as you can see, it's flashing the center here. The blue color is flashing. That means it's showing. It's now allowing. It's now selecting the water temperature here and allow you to change. So you can press the up and down button to show the parameters. All right now, okay. So turbo intake pressure. So this turbo intake pressure shows vacuum negative one to positive two. So but this car is an NA. So we don't want to see the turbo boost, which is always be um, MD. So let's choose another one. There you go. Negative one to zero. So this would be useful for uh, uh, NA cars that only have a vacuum. Okay. So once this is done, just press this. Then now it's uh, flashing on the techno here. So which allows you to change as well. Uh, okay. Let's change to uh, speed clock. Uh, trip. No audio. No. The, oh, by the way, the audio is showing. Um, is another type of audio that's uh, with this memory in the CAG that only detect from here, not from your car uh, uh, actual cr instrument cluster audio. Okay, let's select uh, fuel consumption. Yep, you can show fuel consumption as well. Ah, okay. Uh, now we want to see the. Uh, yep, uh, if your ratio is good, all right. Let's choose this so we know your car is it running healthy. Techno, we don't need this. We already have it. The speed we don't need it because we already selected at the center here, so they will show you speed as well. Um, let's select, let's find all time somewhere. This is the auto sensor voltage, uh, long term, short term, fuel trim, engine load. Now, this is quite useful as well. Uh, EGR, no, we don't have this. Is not a diesel car throttle position. This is uh, how much. Uh, you are you are stepping on your pedals, so let's see if I can press this. And there you go. It's quite fast the reaction. IIT IIT is the intake air temperature. This is quite useful as well if you want to know. You know, as you, as you know, um, when the uh, intake temp is high, engine load tends to reduce. Engine temp is uh, low, the engine load uh, is improved. That's why you can feel your car is always lighter when the weather is cold outside. Uh, this is quite useful for turbocharged car as well. There's a lot to display, but uh, yeah, this is measuring your air, your airflow through the MAF airflow sensor. Uh, gear, so in which gear you are engaged in. Let's show uh, exhaust temperature. This is very useful as well. Yeah, this is a hot car. Um, this is a V8 R8 right now. Water temp, we already have it here. Oil temp, there you go. Oil temp, that's it. Okay. Okay, water temp will keep that. We like to see water temp. Voltage, I just don't think that's quite useful. Uh, uh, yeah, let's take the exhaust temp. This is perfect for a petrol head type of reading that you want. Technometer, you can change between uh, 6,000, 9,000, 11,000. We'll give you 11,000. And then the inner, okay, that's it. Good, we are good to go.